Very soon we will be able to see the new episode, and I will tell you why. Hello everyone, as we know recently we have seen a lot of information about the new episode of The Amazing Digital Circus, and in this video I decided to gather for you only the most reliable and true information about the new characters, the teaser, and various other leaks. Have fun watching. Let's take a look at the secret teaser first. It's actually very strange to say that this is the teaser of the second episode, because some people consider the pilot episode to be the first episode, and some people convince everyone that the pilot episode is just an introductory part before the first episode, but many people still consider it to be the first episode, so we're going to watch the teaser of the second episode. Remember the hilarious wacky watch that took us to a weird website that had a teaser video of the pilot episode, and since it was official, we can say that this video that you will see in a few seconds is indeed a teaser of the new episode. That's really what we were shown, just a looped short video of Pomni sleeping sweetly in his new room. I sat there like an idiot for about five minutes waiting for some kind of continuation, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. But even such a short episode gives us a lot of information, so let's start analyzing this teaser. The first thing to notice is Pomni's bed. You can see that it is exactly the same as Pomni's clothes. The same colors and the same pattern in alternating stripes, which means that Pomni is definitely in her room and has not accidentally snuck into someone else's room and made a bed there. This is also supported by the color scheme of the room itself, which is dominated by blue and red. Pay attention to what is behind Pomni. There is a dark area in the middle of the bright room, and on the sides you can see red curtains. So there's something in there worth shutting yourself off from. At first I thought it was a door, but that version was immediately unusable because it would be very inconvenient. Imagine you open the door and the first thing you see is someone's bed. I have a hunch that there is nothing there and that this so-called hole is the connection between rooms with other characters. I know that would be very weird, but this is the amazing digital circus we're talking about. Maybe this teaser is a reference to a very old leak of Pomni's room, because originally it was shown that this room is made in darker colors and there are a lot of little cane flying around the sleeping Pomni. And if you look closely, you can see that in the original concept, Pomni's bed was in the same colors as Kane's. So it's likely that once the characters get to the digital circus, they'll spend the first few hours in Kane's room before settling into their own. To summarize a bit of the analysis before we get to the theories, I would like to say that Pomni's room is very consistent with her image as a fool, because Kaufmo's room, which is kind of a clown, was very dark, but it's very silly to judge because we haven't seen her original appearance. Also remember Gangle's room, which is also very gloomy. I'm very glad that Pomni's room reflects the essence of Digital Circus, because even if you combine Gangle and Kaufmo's rooms, they still won't be as interesting as the room from the teaser. Now let's get to the theories one of which will be about the new release date, so be sure to watch to the end. You can see how tired Pomni is because she is not embarrassed for a second by the very bright lighting around her. I'm sure that this teaser is the very beginning of the second episode, which is a continuation of the plot of the pilot episode. But why the room? I think it will be one of the key locations of the second episode and something will happen in it that will make us very worried. Maybe even someone will be abstracted, and maybe it will be Kinger, maybe it will be Zubel, maybe it will be Jax. I will not reveal all the cards yet because I already have a video on this topic and you will be able to see it in the near future. Or the room is a reflection of the character's inner state. So while Pomni's mental health is good, her room looks so bright and colorful, but as soon as she starts having some problems, we'll see her room fade and turn into something creepy. And maybe this teaser tells us that Pomni is doing well so far, but the second episode will make her go a bit crazy, and at the very end of the new episode we will see her room in a different state. A clear confirmation of this theory is that Kaufmo's room was hardly always like this. But when he went completely insane, we saw from the bright clown's room, some room where the psychopath lived. The second theory is even crazier, and it says that Pomni is actually a circus performer and is currently sleeping in his dressing room, and the horror she experienced in the pilot episode is just a bad dream but all the characters we were shown are real people in costumes and then the whole plot will be built around the circus, but not digitally, but quite real. Well, after the teaser, it's time to look at a very interesting leak related to the new episode, and here we can find out the date when we will be shown the new episode, or at least the trailer. The Glitch Team's social media accounts posted some very intriguing posts, promising to show us what's inside Pomni's room. But if we go to the comments, you will see that many people have been waiting for a new trailer or even a new episode. But in this video, I will try to explain to you why this post is the most important news before the new episode, and try to explain when the next episode will be released. Let's take a look at this amazing Pomni room as much as possible, because it hides a lot of secrets that are worth talking about. First of all, I would like to talk about the mirror, which fits very well into the interior of this colorful room. If you remember the Kaufmo room, you won't find a mirror there. And it was strange to me, while there's nothing wrong with it in this room. 
But have you noticed how strangely placed it is? Usually the mirror is hung on the wall or placed parallel to the wall. But in the case of our Pomni, it is placed in such a way that you can see the whole room from any angle. And I think that if you stand at the right angle, you can see yourself. But what is the purpose of this? Remember the fragment from the pilot episode where Pomni was running away from the abstracted Kaufmo and saw the mirror. Now remember the horror with which she looked at the reflection. And also in one of the old leaks, Pomni looks into the mirror too. But only there, her look is so crazy that even I got a little creeped out watching it. And most likely the mirror in Pomni's room is placed so that she can always see herself, so that she always knows where she is. And these thoughts would slowly and stealthily drive her insane. So what if Pomni decided to look into it deliberately, in which case she would realize what surrounds her, which would also drive her crazier every day. Or maybe it was just for the sake of beauty. But we don't see anything special in the reflection of the mirror, except for one detail. I'm talking about the chandelier. In the pilot episode, I couldn't find a single scene or frame in which this interior object appeared. But what does that tell us? Remember how Kane showed that the digital circus has both the sun and the moon, which means we have day and night. But I was sure that the lighting in the big top depended on that as well. Apparently, I was wrong. Most likely, the main room has some windows that illuminate the area of the digital circus tent. However, I didn't notice any windows in the characters' rooms, and there's no chandelier in Kaufmo's room. Maybe it disappears the moment the character turns into an abstracted monster. And before I was sure that the characters, if they are in a normal mental state, can only be in the room when they are sleeping. But then again, they don't need to sleep because they're just digital copies. But let's talk from the perspective that they need sleep just like us. Maybe during sleep the chandelier in each room is automatically turned off at certain times, but during the day when the characters are just having fun or doing their own thing, the chandelier is always on. And just look at it. It's really very detailed and beautifully done. And those candle flame lights make me admire this amazing quality work more and more. You may also have noticed a strange cube with a single letter B. If you look closely, you will see that it is definitely not a coincidence, as the letter is only on one of the six sides. And this mystery has already driven many Twitter users crazy. Let's discuss some of the theories surrounding this mysterious letter B. Of course, everyone is wondering what it stands for. One user jokingly suggested that it stands for Bomni, and that's very funny and entertaining, but I'm sure this thing really belongs to some other character, because if it was Pomni, we'd probably be shown another letter as a reference. Of all the characters we've seen so far, only Bubble matches the description of the owner, but that was very strange, which means someone else owns it. If none of the known characters of the Digital Circus has a name that starts with the letter B, then I'm 99% sure that one of these new characters will definitely appear in the new episode. Maybe it will be this beautiful princess, and her name could be Bella. Or on the contrary, this toy once belonged to one of those characters who became an abstracted monster. Maybe it was our good old yellow dog named Bobby. There is also a theory that this toy belongs to Pomni, and that it is indeed the first letter of her name, but not the one she got in the digital circus, but her real name. I'm sure Kane knows the names of all the people who come to his digital circus, but why does he give out all the new names? Most likely, it is so that they can completely abandon their former lives and only know themselves as they appear in the digital circus. And in this case, maybe Pomni's real name is Bomni, and this person wasn't even joking when he wrote that. And of course, there were a lot of jokes about the Barcelona Football Club. And if we start from the theory that this is a toy of a new character, I noticed another fact that supports this theory. Take a closer look at the toys on the sides of the mirror. I think many of you have noticed that one of these pyramids is assembled and the second is completely destroyed. If there really is a new character, their pyramid will most likely be destroyed. And now I will explain why. Look at Pomni, and just by looking at her, you can see that she is in complete despondency and depression. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. And I'm sure that in such a state, she hardly wants to play with anything. What if a new character actually comes to visit her and they sit down and talk? Except that Pomni is no longer able to play with anything, but someone new could possibly bring not only a children's pyramid for her to play with, but also this mysterious cube with an even more mysterious letter. Don't you think that sounds like the truth? A small percentage of people have also noticed another of the oddities. Look first at the reflection in the mirror and then at the wall itself. Now let's go down a little lower and notice a strange object lying on the floor. If you remember the scene in the dormitory, you will immediately notice a lot of paintings hanging on the walls. And the size of their outline is exactly the same as this object. I agree with you that the color is different, but we're talking about the Pomni room and it should all be in red and blue colors. What if this fallen painting shows something similar to what we saw in the Kaufmo room, and could it mean that Pomni has already started an irreversible process, and her mind is starting to go crazy? 
And is there a possibility that we will see this in the new episode? Now it's time to talk about the sweetest thing we've been shown, and of course, it's about our amazing Pomni. But in this picture, the condition of the Pomni clearly leaves a lot to be desired. Let's talk about this spoiler as one of the shots of the new episode. If our mini teaser and this scene will open the new episode, in this case we realize that already after the end of the pilot episode, Pomni started some mental changes and we are not as interested in this as the next option. What if all these events take place in the middle of the second episode? First we saw Pomni sleeping sweetly in her bed, and then comes the moment she wakes up. And if it's a digital circus, then no one has to rush anywhere or wake up to an alarm clock. That means all the characters get a good night's sleep and remember themselves after a good night's sleep. Even if you have a terrible day planned, you'll feel great right after you wake up. But here we see a completely different picture. From the very beginning of the day, Pomni shows with her whole appearance that she is in a borderline state and ready to go crazy. And I'm sure that these fragments are taken from about 12-16 minutes of the new episode, which means that someone has already managed to mess with Pomni's mental state to the point where she feels terrible just looking at her room. Maybe it was Kane on an unpleasant assignment, or maybe Jax's bullying has affected Pomni that much. Or maybe it's just the thought of going out that keeps her in a state of depression all day. How long do you think she's been there? Five minutes? Half an hour? Or an hour? Or maybe all day? I'm sure the answers to all these questions will be revealed in the new episode we're about to talk about. More precisely, we will not talk about the new episode, but about its release date, because now my confidence in the fact that the event will happen very soon is getting stronger every day. A lot of spoilers and leaks are literally screaming at us that we will soon be able to see the new episode, and lately, there are more and more of them. And the last, but certainly not the last spoiler, was this picture of Pomni's room. I wouldn't be so sure if the creators had just posted this image on their social networks, but something else happened here. We were given a task for which we received a reward, but the most important thing is that in this way, Glitch analyzed our interest in the digital circus. And when we realized that the public's interest in digital circus is still very high, because 100,000 likes that we had to get to show us something is a very funny number. In just six hours, all the likes were collected, but unfortunately, we had to wait 24 hours to see this masterpiece. And since they've seen how much people want the new episode, which I'm sure is already finished, I think we should definitely be shown the new episode by the end of February. I think many of you have enjoyed the previous leaks and spoilers. Well, now it's time to discuss the new characters that will appear 100% in the new episode. We see four characters of different colors and already a huge number of theories are being built around them. Let's look at them one by one and in the end we will find out who is who. The first character we see is a white cylinder, but if you look closely, you can see the outline of arms and legs. Wait, you don't think this is a good angle either? Let's flip our spoiler over. That's much better. A lot of people thought that this character was a cigarette, and it's actually very true, but I'm sure Gooseworks doesn't want to promote smoking to their audience because we all know how harmful it is. If you look closely, you can see that Neo has a very strange body because the white line that we can clearly see is just his belly or some kind of costume, and his real body is hidden in the back and is some kind of green substance. His right hand also stands out because it has a bright orange color. And by the way, the same color is in the eyes of this character. And if you look closely, you can see that at one point there is a clear transition between white and gray color, which means that this area is his head. And from the looks of it, his head will be elongated, like a dog's or a raccoon's. Now let's look at the most interesting character, this green monster, which on the one hand looks like a character from the cartoon Megamind, and on the other hand is an exact copy of the aliens in the most classic of their representations. However, this character has one major difference from all the other characters in our video. All the characters have a clear outline, and this green alien has a glow around the periphery of its body. And unlike all the others, I cannot see its eyes. I can also see that this character will be wearing a skirt, so we can safely say that it will be a girl. And I have a hunch that this whole green image is a full costume under which someone else is hiding. Could it be the well-known Kaufmo? Or maybe it's someone we've never seen before. Next, we will talk about another girl from this spoiler, namely this very interesting princess. Maybe it's the well-known Princess Peach from the Nintendo video game series, or maybe it's a reference to Piper from Brawl Stars. Of course, this is all a joke, and the author is not allowed to use a character from another universe without prior agreement due to copyright reasons. It is also noticeable that this princess has the tallest stature of all the newcomers, and I think she will be one of my favorites in the digital circus. But what's surprising is that she doesn't have a crown or a tiara on her head, but we can see a strange star on her head. What do you think that might tell us? And now for the funniest character of all. This is our new blue friend. 
I'll be honest with you, I was really surprised at how was represented by. Some think he's a Michelin reference, some think he's a recycled version of Huggy Wuggy. I can agree with them, but I can also disagree with their theories. You can see that this character is a kind of reference to Zubal, because he is not a whole creature like our Zubal. You can see that each part of his body is a separate sphere, connected to each other by the principle of a magnet. And it is important to note that this is the only character whose face we can see most clearly. At least you can tell exactly where his eyes and mouth are. And his face reminds me very much of the world-famous Freddy Bear. And his body is very similar to the character Blue from the Rainbow Friends universe. Remember at the beginning of our video, I mentioned the Garden of Ban Ban. That was done on purpose so that you would keep that thought in your head until now and realize how easy it is to indoctrinate people into anything. Because these characters are really like characters from the Ban Ban universe. And I don't want to say it, but there's still a possibility that the creators of the Amazing Digital Circus made a deal with the creators of this game and made some references to the characters in the Amazing Digital Circus. And it would be really interesting to see them as anti-heroes in a Kane adventure. But I'm pretty sure that's all just a theory. And now we'll get to the most interesting parts of our video, which is talking about these characters in the context of the Digital Circus and touching on the release date of the new episode. Based on what you've heard so far, you know that this image was shown to us before the release of the pilot episode. So this spoiler tells us about the upcoming release of the new episode, but we will talk about that later. We saw four new characters that will definitely appear in future episodes. Gooseworks themselves told us that Kaufmo was left out of all the festivities because there were too many characters available, so we understand that there will be no more than six characters in the digital circus. This means that we won't be able to see all four of them at once, and they will be shown to us gradually, some in the next episode, some in the third episode, and some in the fifth episode. And if this leak was shown now, then we can safely say that one of them will be in the next episode. But who exactly? I've already made a video on this topic where I speculate about it. Like many of you, I think Kinger or Pomni are the main contenders for abstraction in the next episode, but this image casts doubt on that theory. We all remember the final scene of the pilot episode where absolutely all the characters were sitting around the dinner table doing their own thing, but in this picture, we don't see Zubal. Of course, you can argue that Gooseworks said that the third episode would be all about Zubal, but who is stopping them from changing the script a bit and dedicating the next episode to Zubal and adding someone new to the digital circus? I am 99% sure that this is exactly what will happen and soon we will see a new character in our favorite digital circus. But who will it be? If you watched this video carefully, you remember how I said that this blue character is the reference of Zubal. So the new episode will show us all the secret sides of our strange girl or man. She has not decided yet and somewhere in the middle of the episode we will see the abstraction of our Zubal and the appearance of this interesting creature. I think that the princess character will appear somewhere in the fourth episode and will replace the cutest girl in the digital circus, Ragatha. I've been thinking a lot about who might replace the green alien. I'm sure he'll be Kinger's replacement because they're both very weird. And the weirdest shaped character will be Gangle's replacement because they both have very interesting bodies. Of course, this is all speculation. Write your opinion in the comments. Well, that's the end of our global analysis of all the major leaks of the new episode. Have a good day and see you in the new videos that will appear every two days.